the 1981 release of Donkey Kong put Nintendo on the map. It was a huge hit in the arcades, so several home ports, of varying quality, were released. Soon Nintendo decided to make their own game system, which of course had its own version of Donkey Kong. The NES version kept most of Donkey Kong's gameplay intact. The included stages are very close to their arcade counterparts. The problem is that one of the arcade stages is not included due to memory limitations. Donkey Kong is already a very short game, so the loss of one of the four stages is a big deal. The separate stages are considered to be part of one level. Once you complete them, the game starts over at the next level, which is the same except the difficulty has increased. The player character was built around the idea of jumping, hence the creative name Jumpman. He was later renamed and went on to appear in some other games. Unlike later platform games, your character cannot jump very high, and even slight falls will kill you. Oh, come on, even Mr. Glass survived worse falls than that. Some stages have hammers that you can use to destroy barrels or enemies. Unfortunately, you cannot jump while using it, and you cannot stop using it at will. You have to wait for the power-up to wear off before you can progress. Some of the levels include items that Lady apparently dropped as Kong was hauling her up the structure. You can pick these up for points, though why she had multiple parasols is anyone's guess. There is also a time limit for each level. The controls are typical of a Nintendo game. That is to say, they are nearly perfect. The arcade version of Donkey Kong had amazing graphics when it was released in 1981. The NES version looks very close, but it is missing a lot of the animations that the arcade version had. The sound effects are good for the most part, except that Jumpman must be wearing the squeakiest shoes in the world. The NES version also adds some nice music. The first level is super easy. After that, the difficulty ramps up quite a bit. The enemies and obstacles are faster, less predictable, and come in greater numbers. Donkey Kong is the first game to have a visual narrative. Much of this narrative has been cut out of the NES release due to memory limitations. Donkey Kong has kidnapped Jumpman's girlfriend Lady, and is now climbing up a building that is under construction. Jumpman is attempting to rescue her. The NES version of Donkey Kong may be the best of the early home versions, but it is not as good as the original arcade version, which is included in Donkey Kong 64. Nor is it as good as the Game Boy version, which added 96 stages. Simply put, get those versions instead. <laughs>